Hello, my name is Aaron from Pitsco Education, and today we're going to build a Fable robot with a face that changes eye colors. This is a fun project, and it enables you to customize your robot, giving your robot its own unique look and personality. This code will help you to learn how the Fable Face app can be used to provide visual feedback based on data such as the touch position on the phone screen. So let's get going. First, let me quickly show you how to build this robot. We'll use the Fable Base, a joint module, and the phone holder module. On the joint module, when we turn it on, we'll need to match the color to the color of the dongle. So we've got blue and blue in this case. Now let's transition to the program. Let's start by having the servos move to a zero, zero position. This will cause the robot to stand up so that we can see the face on the phone. Remember to select the joint module's unique code on the back. To have access to the color blocks for the face app, I need to be in advanced mode. Let's add a repeat while loop to the program so that it loops. Inside the while loop, I'm going to drag a set color to block from the actions tab. In the drop down menu, I can choose iris or eyelids. Let's choose iris for now. Then I can choose from any of the predefined colors. So for now, I'll choose this nice blue color. Now I'm going to duplicate this block and put the new block inside the repeat while loop also. This time, I'll choose eyelids from the drop down list and I'll pick this green color. When the program is run, watch what happens to the eyes. There you go. I can also change the eyes to random colors. This time, from the colors tab, I'll drag the random color block into the set color two block. Let's do this for both the iris and the eyelids. Now, when we run the program, the eyes will change randomly as the loop repeats itself. Finally, let's do one more thing. Let's change the eye colors based on where I touch my phone's screen. Back in our program, we'll get rid of the random color blocks. Then, from the colors tab, I'll drag the color width block into the empty space. These three numbers represent the percentage of each color, red, green, and blue, to use when coloring the eyes. Let's set the red color to 50%. Then, from the census tab, I'm going to drag this bottom get block into the value for green. In the drop down menu, I'm going to choose the tap position on X axis. Then I'll right click, choose duplicate, and drag the new block into the value for blue. To change the eyelid colors, I'm going to have to right click and duplicate the entire color width block. Then I'll place the new block into the space for the eyelid color. Then, just so we can see some different colors, I'm going to swap the blocks in the red and green slots. There's one last thing I want to do. I want to control the color of the iris by moving my finger side to side along the x-axis while controlling the eyelids by moving my finger up and down along the y-axis. So, I'll change these two drop-down menus to tap position on y-axis. Let's run the program. Notice how as I drag my finger across the screen, the iris color changes. As I drag my finger up and down, the eyelids change. And if I drag my finger diagonally, both the iris and the eyelids change color. Cool. For more videos, projects, and product information, visit pitsco.com slash fable.